Hey everyone, this is Scott and Aaron. And we have just finished up the weekend of Shopify Unite out here in San Francisco. We have our Anchor Steam beers uh, for good measure. Today was a little weird because uh, electricity, no electricity. <laughs> electricity went out all day, so they had some of the, the talks outside, but hey, got to enjoy nice San Franciscan weather, so is that not too word? shabby. Franciscan? San Franciscan. All right. Well, uh, anyways, we wanted to catch you guys up on uh, what are the great things that you as merchants can take from the... You know, from the new stuff that, that we heard this weekend, what's going to be coming your direction and which things uh, you can be prepared for and start Absolutely. to ramp up for. And uh, we've taken a, quite a bit of notes through the last couple of days and talked, obviously, to a lot of Shopify team members and really just kind of getting into uh, what, what we can expect when yep. these things are going to come down and be available. And, uh, yeah, so let's jump right in. I mean, the first one, the biggest one that they had to get to was the was the hardware, the credit card swiper. Yep. Uh, uh, what did they, chip and dip? Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it does. I don't think they called it chip but and dip. pretty much it. But it's I kind of uh, like that. I hope it is called chips and dip. Point of sale, simple card reader. They made it themselves. It's their own proprietary hardware. Yeah, and I mean, I think the best part was the um, Bluetooth capability. Yeah. The fact that, uh, say, you're in an actual point of sale, that you could pick it up and you could walk over and yeah. someone's like standing next to the shirt and they want to buy it. You can just do it right there. Right yep. there. So um, the ability that you could with your phone and that you, I mean, you could sell anywhere. You could be anywhere. Yeah, so absolutely. that was pretty cool. And a lot of the um, solutions that I know people have been using or have difficulty with the chip reader. Yes. And because that's now becoming something that you have to have by law. I forget when that actually locks, but right. anyway, soon enough that you gotta figure it out. So uh, it's great looking, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's sweet, yeah. and it's uh, zero dollars. Zero dollars for you. So uh, signups have started, I think they said today, yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Yesterday yeah. signups started, and uh, do we remember when it's actually going? Uh, it's. It's June 2017. Right. So it's That's coming right, yeah. very soon. Yeah. You can sign up today. Uh, go on the Shopify site. Look for it. If you search for Shopify chip and dip, you will probably it's, not find not it. It's not going to find it. <laughs> but, They'll probably send you to some weird meetup. <laughs> right. Right. Well, where hopefully it has uh, artichoke <laughs> right, dip and right. maybe something like that. But um, So that's probably the biggest one uh, that will affect... Uh, everyone is, is... I do think along the same lines, just to piggyback on that, um, they also introduced different inventory for different sales channels, which is Not also, necessarily out yet. Not out yet, but it is something that will be coming down the line where your point of sale, if you want a pop-up market, can have a different inventory than your yeah. actual physical store that can have a different inventory than your warehouse. And I guess while we're talking about the point of sale, uh, I think that inventory management and fulfillment that's separated multi-point inventory is yes. going to be huge yes we don't know exactly when that's going to come it's out a future right roll out right yeah. i think we had maybe some kind of note once we get get down through those notes we'll talk back about it but also the fact that all the point of sale features are going to be extended so yes. Yeah. The returns and exchanges yep uh we're one Two that was bonds. on there the yep. discounts yeah, all those uh, kind of pain points that people have had with, with point of sale, sale just Absolutely. didn't feel like it was all the way there. A lot of that is going to be addressed. Yep. So that's pretty sweet. Um, another thing is that the sales channel, uh, sales channels are going to be open. And yes, um, what that means for you guys is that currently there are some sales channels. I know quite a few are using um, are using Amazon. Yeah, they're using Pinterest, Facebook, Facebook, yep. uh, Instagram is coming soon, uh, which is going to be really sweet. But yeah, the fact absolutely. that this is open as an open API is amazing, not only just because it's going to be more options really quickly, right? Uh, but also on top of that is we were talking about you know some things that we could actually pull off with that, right? And that would be like if you had an enhanced ad and you wanted right there in the yep. ad someone to be able to add something to your store. Uh, you can do that through a sales channel. Yes, absolutely. It'd be really sweet. We were also talking about dash buttons. 
yes. possibility that Shopify could have dash buttons now uh, that interface yep. directly with the sales channel. Um, and so there's some pretty cool opportunities. Th those have yet to really like show themselves, yeah. but we do yeah. know that uh, there's a lot of uh, possibility. There's a lot of possibilities yeah. people want with yeah. sales channels being able to integrate all those channels, and we now Absolutely. can do it. So, Absolutely. Uh, you want to you want to pull your next most exciting one for you? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, for me. Uh, it would be the that they now have a API. Well, it has been teased before, but they're really renovating their discount API. Um, price rules. Price rules, and that to me is is going to be a huge boon. Especially, um, we were talking about really could do some nice sales for your customers on a loyalty basis without having to have a loyalty app where they hit a price point. Yep. This API pings them, says, "All right, you're at." Uh, Two hundred dollars that you've spent in our store. Here's seven bucks to use, or seven yeah. bucks. <laughs> Here's ten bucks, twenty bucks well, to use maybe in the next seven product. days. Exactly. But the <clears> idea <throat> being, get them back to your store with a short, limited run, and that coupon would be directly for them. It'd be right. off of their own account. Uh, we would know how much they spent, how often they've been there. Really, kind of re-incentivize people come back again and again. It could yeah. be a really great way yeah. of remarketing to those that already use your product. Well, and that on top of that too, the whole uh, discounts in general is being reworked. It is. Yeah. So the fact that uh, one of the big things that a lot of our clients know is sitting up and waiting until midnight to flip on your discount because it yeah. needs to go live. Uh, you've got people in Finland shopping, and this discount needs to go live. And so then Monday sitting, night, staying up to turn it back off, off again. It's yeah. just so obnoxious, yeah. um, especially if your promotion is bigger. It's not just a code that starts and stops. Like yes. obviously, you can do a code that starts and stops, but being able to schedule schedule them. promotions, yes. yes, as well as discounts. So scheduling full promotions, discounts, all that, having it set in stone, ready to yep. start and go, multiple ones, seasonal ones. You can really start to dig into this and, and just I don't know, make and life a little easier. If we hopefully the sooner we can get it, get you everybody ready for uh, you know. Black End of Friday. the year, so we can <laughs> yeah, do right. some some testing, really see the ins and outs. It'll be really nice, right? And so a, a little bit along the the kind of same line um, about getting more automation that I thought was pretty exciting was the uh, accelerated checkouts, as they called it. Mm -hmm. So we were looking uh, one of the things along with Shopify Pay, which we'll talk about. Um, is the fact of accelerated checkouts which are going to come which is you can actually from a product page add a product directly to cart and check out right yep. there yep so yep. there's no going to a cart page there's not even going there's going even nowhere going to else site. Yeah. it's clicking to buy it right now and it slides up the the cart from the bottom and you can check out right there because it knows your That's info it. it's on your phone and it's uh with apple pay mm -hmm. Amazon Pay, Android Pay, they're, PayPal. they're in the works of getting that deal yeah. done. So uh, really mobile, obviously, and Shopify influenced. Pay. Yes, and Shopify Pay, but like you said, we'll, well, it's just, we'll just dive into that. Okay. Well, Shopify now has their own pay system. Uh, the greatest thing about it is Simi that Similar to Apple Pay. It is. So they've always had Shopify payments. Right. But this right. is now Shopify Pay. But the, the difference being, I think, than those is this isn't necessarily just on your phone. Like a lot of those right. are contained in your phone. Right. The idea behind Shopify Pay is someone will be able to save their information one time uh, and then across any Shopify store, they'll be able to just get a text message that says here is your six digit code, just confirm that this is you buying this product. Mm -hmm. They have to fill out two forms. One, their mail or email address, mm -hmm. and the second is that six digit, and they're checked out. Um, they said it reduces time by 40% of people right. checking out, which obviously major point where people drop off is right at that checkout process. So right. faster we can get them through, <clears throat> more likely they are to actually Get it done. And so obviously without having actually played with this thing yet, what right. we have discussed with the different Shopify uh, team members is that we believe this will only be if your store is using Shopify payments. Yes. Um, because it needs to obviously communicate with Shopify payments yep. to do this. But one thing that I don't want to make sure that you guys don't miss is that 
this will work for the entire network of Shopify stores yes. using Shopify payments. So if you were on, let's say Gap has a Shopify store on Shopify payments, right. and then they came to your little store that sells uh, vinyl figurines of right. anime, right. then... Uh, <laughs> Then, because they had done that account process on the Gap Store, they can now essentially one-click log through. in on Breathe your through, site. Yeah. So, yeah. cutting, it's not like, oh, well, that's great if our shoppers come back 98 times. Yep. This is a literally a new payment option. Cross Shopify. And everywhere. Shopify is freaking huge. Yes. So, it's yeah. going to be sweet because it'll be on so many sites. Yes. You guys will be able to just... You take leverage of this, and, and it doesn't cost anything extra. No, it does not cost anything. And it'll out just directly. be in there. Yep. It'll we don't. I don't. Show up. Did we get a date on when that was coming? I believe that was the one where they said coming next month. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't say then the month afterwards. Yeah. The card oh, reader coming this coming month. I put <laughs> coming this coming month. Yeah, next month. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I could have said that easier. Uh, you know, sometimes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we talked a little bit about the multi-location yep. inventory. We didn't get a whole lot of details on that. Obviously, this Still could be questions. ridiculously yeah. huge, but uh, when I was in the Plus meeting, uh, I asked, tried to ask the Plus dev team if it was going to be a solution that was robust enough for Plus clients. Uh, we know that a lot of the, you know, a lot of our Plus clients have pretty silly warehouse yes. situations yeah. fulfillment so, and inventory yeah. situations <laughs> so i was trying to dig the details on that i think this one seems kind of like sections did last year right. that if we get it this year i'll be surprised right i agree if they're shopify uh, people watching this video and they want to tell me i'm wrong then go right <laughs> for it but uh, i don't feel that this yeah this is gonna, gonna be a little now little delay. I, it's gonna be back there yeah. but because we really got the least details on it. Right. And it sounds right. so sweet. Right. I mean, if we could do multi-location fulfillment and inventory, yes. like, that's sick. It, it's so nice. Helps so many people, for sure. Uh, what, uh, what else you got here? Um, another one, I got uh, one more. Well, there's the new admin design. Yes. Um, you can talk about that. Mm. I'm, it's a... Uh, so there's a new, there's a uh, shop of eyes always been green. And this one sounds kind of, there we go. And literally this one sounds kind of stupid when you explain it. Right. Shopify was green. Now it's going to be lavender. Yes. Like, it, but yeah. it is more than that. Um, it is bringing a lot new admin uh, consistency across your yep. app, uh, across just the standard interface, across your mm. point of sale. So that they all look the same. So you find the, you find the stuff in the same places, yeah. and it's going to integrate the apps better. Yep. And along with that is the fact that we will now be able to have conversion-specific yep, data. The remarketing, the, the being able to tell what campaigns led them, even if they didn't buy. Even if they didn't actually buy, they'll say, they came here the first time from this campaign. And then later they went directly to the page. But it'll, they'll know your campaign made a click-through. Maybe that was the start of the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll differentiate between each, each campaign, so it won't just say this yep. is from you know uh, Mailchimp, yep. or this is from Facebook. It'll say this is your Facebook conversion of XPQ dash whatever. So it'll really help coordinate which one of these is working well, which ones are not, right. and then you can really adjust and adapt better to what actually is selling your product. Yeah, and so uh, to, you know, how this, the, the visual of where this is, is uh, you would be able to go into your order page and you would look at an order that came in and on the right side, currently I think it says like some detail. Like yeah, a little referral, detail. Yeah. But it's yeah. not, it doesn't do anything. But now it'll say like they came from this Google remarketing yep. campaign. Two times they clicked on it yep. and they got to this page. They didn't buy but they finally came back a third time. So and you'll get to see the entire yep. customer journey and you can attribute it to 
your campaigns. It's yes. awesome. Like we've yeah. been doing a lot of this through the ROI dashboard yes. for clients, yeah. but that doesn't help you on a one-to-one -one basis that says, oh, you got like 25 conversions from your Google campaign, but I want to know that like Jesse, Very, yes. Jesse yeah. converted yes. from the Google campaign. And now that data is going to be directly in your order. Yeah. Um, and there will also be a, on the homepage, there'll be a dashboard Putting Showing those things side by side by side yep. by side. Here so are your top campaigns right. right now. Here are this your, Mailchimp yep. email crushed yep. it. This ad is crushing it, and uh, these two things are you know, a waste of your time. Yep. So it'd be really nice to be able to uh, have that. And kind of continuing with that, in order to do more remarketing, doing these things, they are now adding a instant share within the product page. Uh, so you create a product, you want to share it to the world right away. You don't have to go into Facebook, load it up, go into Instagram, create a post. You can just right on the page, click, put it in there, and it will send it directly with all the info you want, what you want the link to go to, um, which will make it so much easier for right within Shopify to get those kind of small little mundane tasks that you have to do when well, you really want to promote a a product. Bigger task too that I, again, we haven't actually got the chance to play with this one, but I did see in that drop down they showed MailChimp. Right. And so right. It was, the yeah. thinking yeah. is is that you put out a new product and you want to fire out an email about yep. it. Um, again, I haven't played with it. I haven't played with it, but yeah. it was in the drop down and that's pretty damn exciting. I think it, you know, <laughs> the hope is they would pull it in, you have the coded correctly where it would know. Here's the image. Here's the text. Pull it in, but variance, price, all the rest of that. We we'll saw see. a screenshot, right? So it was one of those things where they didn't discuss Mailchimp specifically, but that would be incredible, right? So I think the opportunities is more than like share, you know? Right. So that's what's right. exciting about it. It's more than just like posting to your Facebook because okay, that saves me like three minutes, but, but like, even who like really cares, right? You know? But if you could take it a little further with things right. like Mailchimp, I mean. That's awesome. But I also think Instagram is such a huge thing for... Correct. Like, that's it. Yeah. Um, all right. So, oh, let's see what else we want to talk about here. Um, that's taken us pretty far through, through our yep. things that I think... Um, that I think everyone would care yeah, about. Yeah, I was about to say, there's just some, you know, developmental, like, right. languages API to look into. Stuff, APIs yeah. to look into, but that's... <clears throat> That's exciting for us. That, right. That will be exciting for you when we use it. But talk Yeah, so to, so to break it down, give us kind of a rundown yeah. again of the things that we think you will care about that are going to be sweet coming up. We yeah. got the credit card swiper, which is going to be their free first orders hardware. now. Yep. Get on uh, that. Free. Right if you're on Shopify, get one. Yep. Uh, you're wasting it. Just go right now. Stop the video. You should have already <laughs> gone and go get one. Right. Uh, the second one is that when Toby Luke was uh, Luke K? Luke K. Yeah. When he was talking, he didn't wear shoes. So <laughs> when you uh, right. when you see me in the office not wearing shoes, it's only because I'm you know trying to follow the guidelines the that have yeah, been absolutely. set out for us. Yeah. Uh, that's obviously a high um, talking point <laughs> for this video. Um, the sales channels. Sales channels. Super cool. Yep. Um, we have the. Uh, the point of sale upgrades, yes, absolutely. Uh, everything that's going on there, really great. We have the uh, uh, we have the advanced accelerated checkouts. Which yep. When that drops, that's going to be killer. That's going to be so so nice. Price rules API, so being able to automate discounts uh, and run your marketing more in an automation or at least something you can schedule and, yes. and ahead of a time. Uh, the inventory multi-site inventory, multi inventory and fulfillment. Yep. Uh, that'll be killer. Uh, we got the new admin design that then it incorporates all your conversion yep. metrics and the purchase path right in there. And I mean that really takes us through it. And Shopify Pay. And Shopify Pay. And Shopify. Shopify. That's Shopify one pay. thing too. Yeah, that'll be a, a yep. big changer. So, so anyways, uh, cheers. Cheers. And uh, it's been fun out here in San Francisco. I hope you didn't miss us too much, but I hope you missed us. <laughs> little bit but we'll be back and we will be raring to go yeah so um hope this helps uh feel free to ask us any questions absolutely um sooner rather than later um yeah. before we forget everything <laughs> uh, that's why we're doing this video right now but um anyways i hope this helped 
Uh, look forward to talking uh, with all of you about Absolutely. some of the cool new stuff we're going to be doing in the next year, helping you guys make bigger, better, more awesome sites and better digital marketing to surround them uh, to make uh, great customer Absolutely. journeys. So anyways, thanks again for supporting WIC. Thanks uh, for trusting in us to do your sites so that uh, we can come out and yeah. do stuff like this. Uh, and yep. you'll see the rewards. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. All right, bye.